what we bring to our audience now is the intricacies of what chips made by who are finding their way into certain Russian missiles. Right. So if you remember after the invasion, uh, the U.S. joined with its European allies and imposed uh, sweeping export controls on Russia to deny the Russian military access to Western semiconductors and other technology. Uh, and they tightened those restrictions again starting last year. Um, and there had been various reports about you know, trade, citing trade data about uh, components getting through, semiconductors getting through to Russia. What we wanted to do was really drill down and go do a deep dive on one missile attack where Ukrainian investors had uh, documented Western components by specific companies, uh, and as well as examining their entire database. And what we came up with was that there's one company whose components keep getting found and more are most frequently found on the battlefield, and that is analog devices. Uh, and we wanted to sort of put a human face on what was a, a sort of trade data story to show that actually Russia is very dependent on Western okay. technology to guide its missiles, uh, uh, missile attacks on Ukraine. Stephanie, what was the response from Analog? And, and also, I, I suppose, from the United States to the reporting? Right. Well, Analog says they regard this as an illicit diversion of their products, and they do not condone any of this trade. And what we tried to get into in the story was explaining the complex supply chain for semiconductors, that there's a lot of production happening in Southeast Asia. There are a lot of middlemen acting, uh, particularly through Hong Kong, uh, using shell companies to do this trade. So it's been very hard to crack down. This is not analog selling directly to Russia. Um, and the U.S. has tried to uh, enforce these export controls through the Commerce Department. Um, that has proven difficult just because of the global nature of the supply chain and the many layers that uh, semiconductors get traded through uh, before actually reaching Russia.